Consider the different skill sets that we need to be developing all the time as piano teachers. So over in the Curious Piano Teachers, we have a teaching framework for all our members and it's made up out of four pillars. The first pillar is being a pianist and then we have being a teacher, being a musician and being a professional. And it's a combination of all those four pillars that make us into a piano teacher. So let's, for the next couple of weeks, turn our attention to what is the first one, being a pianist, and arguably could be considered to be the most important one. We'll see. Now, I don't know about you, but I certainly don't want to be a concert pianist. Any of you out there want to be a concert pianist? I made that decision quite earlier on in my teaching and my, my playing career, probably in my teens, because I'm just not a very good person at being by myself for the amount of time that you need. But nevertheless, this lovely thing here, the piano, is one of my best friends and I know today is best friend day. And this is my best friend. And I haven't done this yet, but I'm gonna just follow Philip Folk here, I got this from here, and give my piano a big hug. Oh. And I shall certainly be sitting down and making some music with my best friend in the not too distant future today. So, as my best friend, I like to go and talk to it. I like to have a little play with it. So being a pianist, all important, I think, to being a piano teacher. Here's some questions to ask yourself. So what's your current playing level? Are you at advanced level? You know, could be grade eight or above? Or is that something that you're still working towards? Certainly, if you're teaching the piano on a regular basis, you need to be aiming up towards that grade eight level, at the minimum, really. Doesn't matter if you're not there yet, but make it your goal to get yourself up to that advanced level repertoire because it informs all your teaching all the way down. It, it, it comes back to, for me, um, you know, I play the viola, I play the violin, um, I've done choral conducting and I've done both, well, I've certainly done choral conducting to a high standard and I did a little bit of violin teaching when I was uh, quite a few years ago. But, you know, they're not something that I feel professional at doing because I don't feel as though I have the absolutely un absolute basic understanding that I need. My own playing isn't at a good enough level. My own singing isn't at a good enough level, what, which is why I stick to the piano, because I know I can play that. So playing standard, that's one uh, uh, important feature. What about performing? How often do you perform? Now, that doesn't have to be out there on the big stage, but to your pupils, for example. Have you played to your pupils recently? That's performing. Or do you play in concerts to your students? It doesn't matter, but it's just putting yourself out there again and saying, hey, yeah, I play the piano. And it's also inspiring your, your, your students and your pupils, I think. And then finally today, what's your level, and this is quite a big one, um, what's your level of technical confidence? Sorry, what's your level of confidence in your technical delivery? What's your level of confidence in your technical delivery? And you might think about things, matters such as posture and alignment, you might think about tone quality, sound production, chords and voicing, and keyboard geography, just to name a few. Those are just some of the technical aspects that as pianists and as piano teachers, we have to have that understanding. I do remember when I started to teach the piano, donkey's years ago now, that was really such an eye opener, having to teach technique that I understood I, and I'd never had to think about how I play a sound, how I move around the piano. And it's fascinating, I find, to start to have to think about that and to work things out through your pupils. If we can be there in advance of them, of course, that's always a good thing. So, what's your level of confidence about your own technical ability? So those are just a few things to mention about this idea of being a pianist. There's some more and I'll be back next week to tell you more about those and then, as I say, for the rest of this next few weeks, I'll be talking about some of the other of the four pillars. Hope that's given you some food for thought. Don't panic if you can't get it all done right now, but with the summer holidays just around the corner, perfect time for just sitting down and doing some work with your best friend. Have a good afternoon. Bye for now.